I'd like to start the panel discussion. And as Miyake san has um, uh, described, the theme is going to be corporate PPA <laughs> as a means to procure natural energy uh, in um, the US. Um, the generation uh, companies and the, the users are signing this uh, corporate PPA. But in Japan, um, the corporate PPA may be possible if we go through a uh, someone in the middle, but there are still cost issues, and so it hasn't really seen expansion of usage as yet. But uh, in, from FI 2022, we have a scheme of feeding premium, and this um, uh, uh, will make the environment possible to enter into a corporate PPA in Japan as well. So in this panel discussion, um, Bloomberg um, uh, and the EFA, who is continuing to study uh, the, this issue, uh, Mr. Um, the uh, issue, uh, Kikuma will make the presentation, and uh, we'll have Mr. That, the Takahiro Suzuki from Mion and Mr. Tetsu Inoue from Sony, and also uh, Mr. Miyake uh, from uh, Mina uh, Denryoku. They will also be part of the panelists uh, and talk about the, the possibilities um, of operation in Japan as well as challenges. And um, my name is uh, Ishida from um, Renewable Energy Institute at a service to moderate. So if I could ask all the panelists to uh, turn on your video. So if I could ask uh, Mr. Kikuma to do your presentation, the floor is yours. I'd like to share the slides. Can you see my slides on the screen? Yes, we can see. I'd like to start right away. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Ishu Kikuma from Bloomberg NEF. Uh, before the panel discussion, I'd like to uh, talk about renewable energy procurement inside and outside the country, uh, what's happening. Uh, I'd like to briefly uh, talk about this. Going into the substance uh, right away, I'd like to talk about the uh, uh, world uh, corporate PPA, uh, the scale of this, and the demand for renewable energy procurement in Japan, and uh, challenges for corporate PPA in Japan. Uh, these are what I'd like to talk about. First, uh, on the global, a uh, global uh, corporate PPA at our company. Every year, uh, we're looking at uh, the annual uh, growth of uh, corporate PPA. We do uh, tracking. Uh, last week, uh, according to the analysis that we announced, 2020, in total, 23.7 gigawatts is the corporate PPA uh, which, uh, for which uh, contracts are concluded. Uh, if, uh, and as you can see from the past trends, the most, uh, major uh, market is uh, what is shown in light blue, the United States, uh, Americas, or green, uh, Europe, and Asia Pacific. Uh, in these regions, uh, there's only a small number. And in Japan, a corporate PPA uh, has uh, seen no contracts uh, as yet. And as to the reasons why, first, before I talk about this, let's talk about uh, Japan and uh, to what extent there is demand for renewable energy procurement. And in this uh, chart, uh, that's uh, domestic RE100. Uh, how many RE100 companies uh, do we have? Uh, 2020 by year end, we'll have 46 companies. And uh, as uh, ono uh, Mr. Ono uh, explained at the outset, uh, this week, uh, on since the 1st of uh, February, four companies were added. So we have 50 companies now. So uh, that's uh, number two after uh, the United States. So there's a considerable demand, uh, as you can see. And other than uh, companies, uh, there are RE200 uh, and uh, RE Action. and. Uh, Domestic suppliers, uh, uh, there are companies uh, that uh, request uh, renewable energy use. Uh, so uh, going forward, uh, we expect the demand to uh, rise. So uh, the RE100 uh, target and the present uh, status, uh, let's look at uh, this. To state my conclusion first, uh, uh, under the present circumstances, we're far from reaching the RE100 targets. Uh, according to our analysis, by 2030, uh, what will be the shortfall? We did some research. Uh, uh, 20 uh, terawatt uh, would be uh, what would be necessary in 2030. And uh, so the present uh, self-consumption or certificates, uh, that's fine. But other than that, uh, uh, we need to fill the gaps uh, some more. And uh, that is clear from this diagram. Uh, for example, of when it's uh, self-consumption, uh, uh, certificates, uh, those are fine. In the case of cell certificates, uh, rooftop, uh, solar, uh, the, the scale is limited by the space available. In the case of certificates, 
a lot of the uh, 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 items uh, would not uh, motivate the new products, uh, so uh, there's an additionality problem. So when you consider this uh, corporate PPA, large uh, size and uh, new projects, uh, uh, we need uh, renewable energy uh, procurement, uh, which would make that possible, and that's necessary. And uh, let, I'd like to talk about two points uh, in relation to uh, challenges uh, for corporate PPA in Japan. Uh, the first one, which I wish to mention, is uh, overseas uh, corporate PPA and uh, Japanese uh, corporate PPA. Uh, they're not uh, necessarily the same. Overseas, you have uh, developers and uh, re companies uh, wanting uh, renewable energy uh, can uh, transact directly. The conditions are there to make that happen. But in Japan, uh, because of regulation reasons, regulatory reasons, Companies that want their renewable energy have to enter into a corporate PPA uh, uh, contract uh, with an in intermediary. So there's a condition attached. Uh, so if uh, regulations are not changed, uh, uh, retail uh, uh, power retailers' uh, role would be uh, greater. And uh, if you have uh, overseas uh, type overseas uh, type of uh, corporate PPA, uh, you need to deregulate. And the other condition is uh, Japan's uh, renewable energy cost is still high in Japan uh, by world standards. And corporate PPA has uh, additional costs. Technology plus uh, other additional costs are incurred, as uh, is uh, shown by this chart. Uh, this is uh, solar uh, power generation, uh, LCOE. And uh, as is shown by this chart, uh, Japan's uh, uh, solar and uh, renewable energy, all inclusive, uh, renewable energy cost in Japan is the highest uh, in Japan uh, compared to the world. So economically, uh, to create the renewable energy economically is uh, very difficult. And you can see that uh, overseas uh, corporate PPA such uh, as uh, uh, that uh, motivation is that renewable energy cost is uh, declining. There's such a trend. And uh, corporate PPA is possible uh, from the regulatory standpoint. In the case of uh, Japan, uh, the two uh, conditions uh, are not fulfilled. It's uh, very difficult uh, to fulfill both conditions. And in the case of corporate PPA, to do corporate PPA, uh, in addition to technology cost uh, balancing or wheeling uh, costs, wheeling costs and uh, wholesale uh, uh, market uh, or exchanges, uh, uh, in the case of uh, P corporate PPA, you need uh, to enter the market. That involves a cost. And uh, there are risks uh, due to regional differences. And uh, risk hedging uh, tools are necessary. So the cost uh, continues to rise because of these factors. And uh, that is all for me. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. And we are seeing a pickup in needs from, from corporate side, but there are still many challenges. So based on the, the presentation made, uh, from the, the perspective of our users, what are your expectations towards corporate PPA? What type of the direction are you looking towards? I'd like to ask uh, Suzuki-san from E.ON to start. Thank you. I am uh, responsible for environment for the group at E.ON. My name is Suzuki. and. Having listened to the presentation so far, I've been thinking of various things. As E.ON, so far, we have used the roof uh, of uh, the retail outlets um, to install uh, solar panels. And on-site PPA model uh, is something that uh, we are uh, promoting quite um, proactively uh, in recent times. But um, nationwide, we actually operate many stores, and so to cover all the electricity used there, um, the, the status quo um, is that we are still far from being able to fully and um, accommodate. And uh, we want to reduce CO2 by 35% in uh, 2030. And by 2030, um, to realize corporate PPA but they, by that time, and to be able to, um, we feel that we need to be able to uh, procure a large amount of renewable energy by that time. And what we are thinking of right now is that, and there was a, an information that the renewable energy cost is still high, but the benefit of um, the corporate PPA is that, one, you are able to utilize renewable energy uh, with a specified um, the source. But um, in comparison to normal electricity unit price, we are able to procure at a price uh, lower. There is a uh, high um, uh, expectation of being able to do this. And 
the generating cost of renewable energy is definitely coming down quite steadily. And so this model, uh, the PPA, uh, corporate PPA, how early, how early can this be realized? And in that respect, uh, we want to certainly uh, work on um, uh, this uh, with a sense of um, urgency. You all touch. Thank you. From the standpoint of uh, users, uh, Sony, uh, you're part of uh, ARIA 100. Could we have some views uh, from you, please? Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Inoue from Sony. Uh, Sony's uh, uh, environment uh, approaches uh, in our establishments is what I'm responsible for. I'm also responsible for our renew renewable energy procurement. Most of what I wanted to say has been spoken by Mr. Suzuki, uh, so I'll be repeating some things. As uh, Miyake-san uh, talked about uh, uh, renewable energy uh, reorganization, uh, we have uh, three or four patterns uh, in terms of uh, renewable energy procurement. One is uh, uh, cell uh, generation, uh, uh, in-house generation. And the uh, second is uh, purchasing from uh, utilities. Third is uh, certificates. Corporate PPA uh, would be between uh, the first and second. Uh, decisively, uh, in-house uh, generation or corporate uh, PPA uh, compared to uh, certificates or compared to uh, power from uh, utilities, uh, we can. There's possible potential for reducing price, uh, reducing cost. Uh, this is our own uh, feeling. 2018 or uh, 2019. Since then, renewable energy uh, cost uh, has uh, declined uh, from between 2018 2019. And Kikuma-san says uh, it's still very expensive in Japan. And uh, the uh, the average uh, and the, the distribution was uh, shown earlier. Uh, by increasing the scale largely, in the case of uh, in-house uh, generation, it's uh, there's potential to for, to procure uh, power at a considerable uh, lower price. So, uh, in the case of uh, in-house uh, generation, a uh, corporate TPA has large potential. And in addition. And this was also mentioned, uh, that off-site PPA, uh, if we consider that to be a corporate PPA, uh, Sony have uh, 30, 40 establishments uh, which are environment-related. Uh, uh, there are establishments uh, where there's room on the rooftop. If we had uh, uh, solar uh, facilities on all of our rooftops, uh, uh, we could not. Uh, uh, fulfill all our demands, uh, corporate demands. So off-site corporate PPA uh, is uh, required. So uh, phys physical constraints to eliminate physical restraints uh, would be uh, the merit of corporate PPA. That is all. Thank you. No. Thank you. So we had um, seen two people uh, speak, uh, expectation regarding volume and also expectation towards um, lower cost in the future. And like Miyake-san explained before, uh, we are able to specify the, the generation plan. Uh, there is a benefit associated with that, and um, additionality to be able to add additional uh, plants. And doing this uh, will lead to reducing CO2 emissions. So these are benefits that can be expected. Miyake-san, uh, from the, the power retailer's perspective, um, the users that was corporate PPA are showing needs and um, expectations. And so how are you actually um, the viewing that right now? Well, as I've explained in my presentation, uh, companies are certainly increasing their uh, desire to uh, increase uh, procurement renewable energy. That, that the increase is definitely visible vis-a-vis -vis last year. But uh, there are some challenges for the users, like uh, Suzuki-san from Eon said before. I think they're doing what they can do. So they're installing panels on the roof and uh, try to make the electricity used and renewable as much as possible, but uh, can't do that entirely as yet, so they need to take a, a step further. And I think that's uh, what many companies are starting to think. An option available here um, is a corporate PPA, I think, um, in for uh, various companies. But in the case of Japan, we don't have any examples of corporate PPA as yet. So uh, companies with uh, sites overseas uh, are already using this, um, and they come to us um, wanting to know if this can be done in Japan as well. And uh, DCLP um, is an organization we have um, a lot of dealing with companies that are part of the 100, but our corporate PPA working project has been set up uh, in that entity. And we have uh, 12 or 13 uh, users also participating. 
and we are currently discussing to establish a pilot uh, program. But uh, what is challenging is that the cost doesn't come down that easily. It's not just the parcels cost, but uh, there are other aspects as well. So how to overcome these issues is something uh, that is being discussed right now. Thank you very much. Uh, 20, 2022, when FIP starts, uh, corporate uh, PPA uh, would be easier to do. And uh, we uh, hear voices uh, to that effect from the users. Uh, 2022, uh, that's a little over a year. And so already uh, specific projects uh, are being examined, uh, or is that uh, true? Well, not uh, to the case the generation plant uh, has been established as yet. Um, and um, we are doing questionnaire with the users in terms of electricity costs. We certainly understand to a certain extent, but we make, make comparison. Uh, corporate PPAs. Um, it's not at the stage of being able to reduce uh, the cost to the current situation without subsidy right now. Um, it may be difficult to overcome this issue uh, based on the, the pilot. So we've started to talk about doing this at a small scale to begin with. Um, so the, uh, the company side may have to actually uh, send, uh, spend extra money, but we would like to start with a small scale initially. Thank you very much. Uh, there was a talk about challenges uh, from uh, the user side. What are the challenges? What are your concerns from the perspective of uh, the user? Uh, that is uh, what I'd like to, for you to talk about. Uh, could we start with you, uh, Mr. Inoue of Sony? When it comes to concerns, uh, corporate PPA uh, between Japan and overseas, the biggest difference is, is that you have to have uh, power retailer, retailers intervene. Of course, our power retailers uh, um, to be able to procure without the power retailers uh, for our uh, for us uh, would mean an increase in options. Uh, so that uh, would be welcomed, uh, and uh, uh, perhaps we could have uh, guidance from you, Ishida-san. Uh, uh, a pattern uh, without uh, power retailers uh, would require a revision of the power utility uh, business law. So there are legal aspects, I believe. Uh, so that uh, would be a challenge. And as regards uh, cost, uh, uh, there's a high potential for costs coming down, I mentioned earlier. Of course, we still have to pay uh, uh, wheeling prices and uh, re uh, renewable energy surcharges have to be paid. So uh, in the case of uh, corporate PPA, uh, in the past, uh, when we started uh, fossil uh, uh, certificates, uh, non-fossil certificates, uh, what I, we often talked about was uh, uh, we're using renewable energy, so we want to be exempted from having to pay renewable energy uh, surcharge. Uh, it's difficult without changing the laws, ultimately, uh, but uh, when you specify renewable uh, power, uh, the way uh, the burden uh, is uh, borne uh, or shouldered, uh, we hope that uh, there will be some improvements in this regard. And uh, on the other hand, uh, power retailers have to always uh, intermediate. Uh, but uh, do we want that uh, requirement removed altogether? Uh, um, we uh, do some self-wheeling from Sony's uh, power generation plants uh, uh, the power is sold to uh, Sony as a user, and of course, uh, same time, uh, same uh, volume uh, balancing management is uh, done uh, by another uh, uh, company. Uh, it's that uh, the uh, power retailer requirement should be removed. Uh, that's uh, we don't uh, call for that all uh, so strongly. Uh, that was not a challenge, but that was uh, just a comment on the part of Sony. Thank you. And uh, Suzuki-san from E.ON, you know, challenges or uh, concerns um, for us to expand corporate PPA in the future. Well, exactly as uh, what Inoue san said. From the user side, simply put, um, as um, you've indicated, for us to use renewable energy or for us to also join a PPA, then why do we have to talk about surcharge and things like that? Because the generation cost itself um, is coming down, but the final price ends up increasing. Uh, there is a likelihood of that um, increasing. 
And so this is a type of uh, discussion we have internally. So what um, will this become of in the future? So we're trying to confirm that each time. But I think this um, is, in one sense, a bottleneck for us. Also, in order to make sure corporate PPA is uh, realized, then the, the generators and the users, uh, they need to be economic benefit. Otherwise, um, it's not possible to realize this. So this is something that cannot be done just by ourselves. So in that respect, I talked about JCLP before. And so across industry, um, establishing consortium. And I think collaboration is uh, needed uh, to realize a, a project. I think that type of thing is quite important. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, as on earlier said that uh, uh, regarding uh, whether power retailers uh, should intervene or not, from the standpoint of a uh, power retailer, could you speak, Mr. Miyake? There are merits and uh, the cost uh, influence uh, as uh, users. I think this will be a point of concern in view of the situation in Japan. Corporate PPA and the role of uh, power retailers or challenges related to power retailers. Could you address this, please? Thank you. Uh, with regard to power retailers, uh, my uh, theory is that the power retailers, uh, we can do without them. I didn't explain that in my presentation earlier. But uh, the users, uh, if they select uh, power plants, uh, and if there's a, a third party that does the balancing, you don't need power retailers. And the power retailers' role uh, is uh, such that they procure power, and uh, they uh, make the rates, uh, and uh, they sell. Uh, they are an intermediary in that regard. In the, in the world of corporate PPA, and in the case of P2P, uh, retail power source, uh, uh, how much uh, we, the power can be generated. The users uh, would look at that and uh, select and buy. Um, and with regard to renewable energy uh, power sources, uh, compared to the grid uh, power, uh, it's different from the stable uh, power source. Uh, tomorrow, what amount of uh, power would be generated? You have to uh, try to forecast that. And it's distributed in terms of locations. It's not distributed, so it's not a large scale uh, power generation. And to do transaction there uh, is completely different from the old type uh, power supply system. So therefore, uh, in order to uh, address uh, these, uh, we use uh, uh, blockchain to, to specify the power source. Uh, we've uh, uh, developed a system for settlement. Uh, the uh, power retailers, uh, uh, there's a need for uh, innovation. If uh, they uh, take the business as usual scenario, they will uh, be uh, gone. And so we need to base our technology uh, based on that, and also in terms of technology. Uh, in do, uh, to do a corporate PPA, do you need power retailers? Uh, you can do without them. And uh, you know, as I talked about, uh, self-wheeling, uh, the uh, transmission and distribution entities, you can uh, ask them to uh, purchase uh, prices, and uh, the retailers uh, do the balancing. So uh, if uh, balancing is done and if from a specified power source, depending on the uh, needs, uh, demand of the users that you uh, supply, uh, this is uh, uh, the contribution of the power retailer in terms of uh, uh, balancing. So I believe uh, that uh, the role of power retailers should change. That's my personal view. Thank you. So you don't have to go through retailers if there is someone who is doing the balancing. I think that was the opinion. Based on the, the Electricity Business Act right now, um, only retailers are able to actually sell to the sellers, uh, to the users. And so that's the restriction uh, needing retailers to sit between the corporate, um, uh, the, the PPA contract down the, to the, the users. So Kikpan-san, now corporate PPA may be difficult in Japan because of certain reasons, but in terms of deregulation, uh, what can we expect in the future? And the biggest uh, point of uh, discussion is the issue of reducing cost. Could I hear your views on that, please? Well, the renewable energy cost is high, and there are a number of reasons behind this. And a significant uh, reason here is that Japan unique um, uh, landform, many mountains, uh, not too many flat land. I think that is one of the reasons. And this um, uh, requires a large amount to level the land when uh, starting up new project. That is quite unique to Japan. So how to reduce cost? 
Uh, if we think about that, then one possible um, deregulation is uh, utilization of land that is not being used right now uh, to enable third party to use land um, in an effective way. I think this will be important um, when we do PPA offsite. And I think such a deregulation could be quite um, beneficial. And uh, this is something that I thought, uh, having listened to the conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we have to solve uh, different issues, uh, but uh, steadily, I believe uh, the environment will be created where corporate PPA will be easier to do. So in that regard, what you talked about, uh, uh, bearing in mind what you all mentioned uh, going forward, uh, in order to develop corporate PPA uh, more in the future in Japan, what are the measures uh, necessary? I believe there are short-term measures and long-term measures. Could we have your take on this? Uh, start, could we start with you, Miyake-san? Uh, very briefly, I think there are two points. First, uh, perhaps uh, it's the institutional aspect, uh, which has been mentioned before, reducing cost. Uh, what's a bar to this was the connection cost. Uh, what's making this difficult is the connection cost. And uh, uh, power generation basic rates, uh, using a transmission line. The cost of uh, using trans line, transmission lines is very difficult for renewable energy. So in that regard, uh, the government uh, is uh, working very hard, and so they need to uh, proceed with that. And uh, likewise for the uh, issue of surcharges, second point is the bankability. Uh, here I'm using a, a technical term. But uh, corporate PPA is a project, so in the long term, uh, well, purchasing is done uh, for the long term. And by so doing, uh, uh, power plants uh, can be created. The users and the financers uh, are not used to doing this. For example, say 20 years uh, for power to be purchased at 10 yen. Nobody would say yes uh, among the users because they're not used to doing this. And so uh, inclusive of all of this, uh, I believe uh, that the climate has to be created. And uh, that's uh, uh, the two points I've mentioned, uh, uh, deregulations and scheme for reducing uh, cost and uh, uh, workability of, uh, for co corporate uh, PPA. That is all. Thank you. Thank you. Suzuki-san, um, short term, uh, long term either is OK. Well, I th think I have the same opinion in terms of long-term perspective, like um, uh, what uh, Miyake-san said, so 20-year contract, if I ask to enter into 20-year contract. It's not that easy to make that uh, decision. Um, it's difficult to gain the consensus internally uh, to make such a decision um, to sign a 20-year contract in that respect. So someone um, from our position um, to say that there is a cost benefit uh, in the future uh, and to try to convince the, the top management. If for us to be able to make that dis uh, explanation, um, we lack information. And by doing that, um, non-price incentive, um, external um, the evaluation being positive. If something like that does exist, we are able to better form consensus inside a company. So 20-year or 30-year project, uh, whether we are able to make agreement to such immediately right now, well, and long-term contract or large investment, um, how, we need to still um, develop the environment uh, conceptive that. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. For companies, a long-term uh, investment involves risk, so the management, uh, uh, it takes time to uh, persuade the management. Uh, you know, Esan from Sony, um, based on uh, considering what you've just said, uh, a uh, uh, necessary uh, measures, short-term and long-term. Could you address these? Could you talk about these? Uh, what Miyake-san said at the outset, uh, not being able to connect, uh, there's no capacity, uh, extra capacity in the uh, transmission line. Uh, that's uh, also uh, an immediate and a long-term issue. Uh, uh, corporate PPA, it's, it may be uh, uh, deviating from the subject of corporate uh, PPA. Uh, Japan's um, uh, uh, the uh, availability of uh, re uh, re renewable energy uh, that can be purchased uh, is uh, very small. 
um, we're um, focusing on corporate PPAs, if we focus on that, uh, if we you want to establish a, a facility with additionality, but uh, uh, that uh, falls flat uh, because uh, there's no uh, uh, connectability. Uh, uh, when we do our self uh, uh, wheeling, it, uh, 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 transmission company says it's uh, several billions of yen. Uh, that's uh, so 20 times, uh, 10 times uh, the cost incurred by uh, power plants. We wouldn't do that. So uh, uh, now that we have declared carbon neutral, uh, easier interconnection uh, is what we have to uh, try uh, to make uh, possible. Uh, more priorities is given and to uh, uh, renewable energy, uh, but uh, it would be uh, uh, given a second seat to uh, nuclear power. So we have to solve these problems uh, so that uh, uh, power supply would be possible from uh, so that the users are able to use uh, renewable energy. Uh, you need, we need to have uh, a lot of uh, renewable energy supplied so the users can buy. And uh, just uh, I believe uh, that would enable uh, more corporate PPA. And uh, a short-term issue, uh, I think, is uh, the following. Ono-san at the beginning said 20%, uh, 21% here in Japan regarding uh, present uh, renewable energy uh, percentage in Japan. 2030 uh, is uh, 22 to 40%. Uh, so uh, in the next 10 years, there'll be no increase, uh, you might wonder. Of course, METI and the government wants to set uh, the goal high. But toward uh, carbon neutral, uh, the next uh, 10 years uh, targets uh, should be set. I think that is uh, necessary. Toward the high targets, uh, various institutions uh, would uh, evolve. And, uh, in the, and uh, so that uh, when this happens, uh, so users such as Sony can uh, purchase uh, re renewable energy. To make it uh, corporate PPA more easy in Japan, we need to see an uh, increase in the renewable energy supply in Japan. I think that is what you said, the sort of priority supply. Um, the nuclear takes um, uh, the priority over renewable energy. This is all something that needs to be re uh, considered uh, from the government's perspective. Now, now, in terms of including seeing um, the volume, uh, there is a deregulation of um, land or site. But apart from that, medium term, long term, or, or even medium term, anything, in order for the corporate PPA to be increased in Japan, what are some of the important measures needed in Japan? Well, the demand for renewable energy is high. This needs to be uh, really uh, promoted uh, or enhanced um, uh, and communicated to the, the government and RE users, um, various stakeholders um, stating uh, the opinions. There is this much demand for uh, renewable energy, but still can't um, uh, get engaged. So we need to communicate these, um, the, uh, the status quo to the government so that we can um, effect a change uh, overall. I think that type of um, uh, effort is needed. Thank you. Uh, there are questions uh, from the audience. Uh, a lot had to do with uh, the government. Uh, based on today's uh, discussions, I would like to talk to the government about uh, what uh, the users are requesting. Um, we're nearing time to uh, close. Uh, could we have uh, just uh, one word uh, from you each? Uh, uh, corporate PPA, future prospects. Uh, we hope that uh, you can uh, give us some bright prospects as much as possible. Uh, so could we start uh, with uh, Suzuki-san, please? Uh, including uh, E.ON, uh, Japan uh, is such that in uh, various parts of the nation for renewable energy uh, to be uh, developed, uh, that is what's happened. And so uh, with uh, regard to corporate PPA to realize that as soon as possible, and uh, cost competitive uh, renewable energy procurement. Uh, I hope, uh, I believe uh, that, that would, uh, our efforts would lead to that. On the part of users or to the regions, uh, I think this is an approach uh, that has merits on the part of Ion. Steadily and surely, uh, so that uh, corporate PPA can be implemented, uh, that we wish to uh, work with everyone. So we seek your kind cooperation. Thank you. Inouessa next. Yes. 
And Miyake-san and Suzuki-san also mentioned this. A good thing about corporate PPA is we can clearly know where the electricity was generated. This will also uh, lead to uh, the vitalization of regional communities or uh, local generation of local, local consumption. We need to certainly look at some cost, but um, corporate PPA is something that uh, we want to um, adopt uh, proactively. We have been doing this previously as well, but we would like to continue doing that into the future. Thank you. Thank you. Kikuma-san, please. Yes, uh, toward the 2050, a corporate uh, PPA uh, would be one major method of uh, RE, uh, renewable energy procurement. Uh, and I felt that keenly through this conference. Uh, so toward this, uh, the government and the businesses and stakeholders all uh, should uh, work toward this. That's important. And uh, in, for Japan to do business, uh, internationally uh, uh, for Japan to be a competitive market. Uh, 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 further uh, renewable energy uh, procurement option uh, should be uh, uh, defined and uh, to uh, uh, boost business. Thank you. So Miyake-san, to close. And and uh, it was very much uh, informative for us to be able to speak with users as well. And many people are actually uh, listening to this conversation in the case of the, the high interest of the theme. The times are changing significantly. Um, the, the corporate uh, uh, the activities uh, may be partly due to COVID, but they're starting to look at uh, long term uh, the, uh, the, the profit rather than short term, looking at BS rather than PL, um, existence of company over long term. So we have seen that type of change and selection for electricity is changing. And amongst that, corporate PPA is one option for the, the corporate sector. And I think it will have a large role to play in that respect. And this has also led to investment made over a long-term perspective by users and choosing renewable energy increase, and this is the most ideal um, the situation. So in that respect, um, we'd like um, uh, for the corporate PPA uh, to uh, be playing a much larger role. We'll do utmost in that respect. It's kind of lost it. Thank you very much. We hope to work together so that the corporate uh, PPA can be uh, expanded uh, in Japan. Thank you very much uh, to all. I'm sorry we've overrun the time, uh, but uh, we'd like to conclude the panel discussion. Uh, thank you very much for your very active uh, discussion. Uh, thank you to the panelists. Thank you to all. With this, uh, we uh, conclude uh, the uh, RE User Summit uh, 2021. We'd like to thank you very much uh, for your kind attention uh, over extended hours. And uh, we'd like to uh, thank the supporters as well. As uh, for the handouts, uh, to, it will be limited to those uh, that can be published, uh, but it, uh, it will be uploaded onto the REI uh, website. Uh, uh, this year as well, uh, we will be working hard. Uh, we uh, seek your kind uh, cooperation and support. Thank you very much for your participation once again.